What's up guys? Welcome back to the Hive Express YouTube channel. I'm Braylon Worthy and today we're going to talk about five things I wish I had known when I started reselling. So obviously there's probably hundreds of things I wish I would have known, but I kind of sat down one day and, and made a little list of like the top five things that I wish I had known, right? So I'm just going to go through and kind of talk a little bit about those. Um, but then I'll probably do separate videos going more in depth um, about each each topic, right? So I got my list right here. Y'all know my memory is not great. So I wrote it down and in no particular order at this point, right? So I just, I just wrote them down. So the first one is cross posting. I wish I had never um, started cross posting from different platforms. So I did eBay, I did Poshmark, Macari, Facebook, and it seemed like it was one one other one. But I, I I used to cross post on all those platforms. I thought it was the best thing to do at the time. Um, but eventually, I said it, it is not worth the time and effort and the other. Um, other things involved with it. So I was like, let me stop doing that. Concentrate on one platform. And yeah, so I did the, you know, I got all the software that posted from here and there, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, cross posting. I wish I had never done that. All right. All right. So that's one, two list every day. So I didn't, when I first started eBay, I did not list every day. I was more of I don't know, it was very sporadic, but I would list a lot of items, but just not every day. So I might do 10 one day, I might not do any the next day, and then I might do 30. Um, but I was doing clothes and also buying and selling pallets. So inventory was a little, I couldn't get inventory regularly like I do now. So <clears throat> that kind of made my listing um, habit to be sporadic. So once I got down to one category that I could replenish regularly, then I was able to start listing every day regularly. And <clears throat> it made a big difference. And I'll go into that as well. So that's two. The third one is presentation is not as important as I would have imagined. So a lot of the things I do now, as far as my pictures, and and this overall presentation I would have never done uh, initially, just because I thought I thought presentation was like paramount on, on eBay, right? And it, it simply is not. So I spent a lot of time and effort trying to present the item um, the best I could when I could have just threw it up there with minimal effort. So that saves a lot of time. But that's one of the that's one of the big things I wish I had known was the pictures don't have to be perfect. They don't have to be a white background, editing the pictures, yada yada yada. Anyway, so that's 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 the third one. Okay. The fourth one is I wish I would have ran it like a business initially instead of a hobby. And and by that I mean treat it serious, customer service. Um, cater to the buyer, um, you know, responding back to inquiries in a timely fashion. Because I, I was just like, if somebody would send me a message and I didn't like the tone of the message or I didn't feel like doing what they wanted me to do, then I'm like, whatever. I wouldn't respond or I'll just, I felt like I could just get back to them whenever I wanted to. It might be two or three days. And that in hindsight, I'm sure it cost me a lot of customers and, and sales. So I wish I had ran like a business from day one and conducted it, you know, just like as close to the brick and mortar experience as you could get online, um, which is what I do now. And again, I'll talk more about that in, in another video. And the last one is... Do not, I wish I wasn't so emotional when I started, right? 
So I was going out buying all of these products, finding shirts, pants, whatever it may be. And for some reason, I thought my stuff was special and that I should charge more. I don't know why. I think a lot of people think that. They, they think their items are better than everyone else's when they're not. And once I, it took me a while to get over that, but once I realized that, took out all the emotion and attachment with these products, then it was like a game changer as well. So, and then all of this, all of these five items kind of tie into, you know, how I operate my business now. And it's night and day from where I was a year ago and, and where I'm at now. So again, I'll, I'll recap those five things. Cross posting, I wish I'd never done that. Um, listing every day, I wish I had listed every day, which I didn't. Um, I wish I hadn't spent so much time in the presentation of the products. Um, I wish I had ran it more like a business from the beginning. And I wish I never had let my emotions get the best of me. So those are those are the five things I wish I had known when I started reselling. Um, obviously, like I said, there are tons more, and maybe I'll I'll get into some of those. But I will dive into these five and give you some more details about why I did this or why I made the change, and as well as some of the results as as I made those changes. So if you like this kind of content, hit the subscribe button below, and. Uh, Click the bell so you can get notifications when I do new shows. Um, thanks again for stopping in. Catch you on the next one.